Okay, so we're going to integrate this function here, e to the z divided by 2z squared minus 6iz with respect to z in the closed contour C, which is defined here. So modulus of z equals 2. Let's just draw this on a diagram. So if z equals 2, that will be our closed contour. Now it looks like we can go with Cauchy's integral formula here. So before we can do that, we have to show that this can be enclosed in a simply connected region. So if we just go that, that's a simply connected region. And we'll just call this just a little bit bigger than the two. So that's out to five over two, that's two and a half. So we've got a simply connected uh, region and inside is a simple uh, closed contour. So that's the two rules for Cauchy's integral formula already sorted. So we'll say the region z modulus z is less than five over two. Obviously the, the um, equals and the less than for the inequality defines us with the closed and the open closed contour, uh, the open closed region, uh, the simple closed contour. Okay, so now, Cauchy's integral formula. It's done like this. So let's say we get an in function that we're going to integrate. It basically equals 2 pi i, and then we'll multiply it by the limit as z approaches alpha, where alpha is a singularity which we're going to find in a minute. Multiply by z minus alpha, that will basically eliminate the singularity from the function, times f of z. And that's how we work out Cauchy's integral formula. So next we need to find out the singularities. So let's mess around with this integral here and see if we can reorganize it. So we've got to take the two out, which will bring that down to a three. So that's two z squared, so we can do 2 times z, z minus 3i. Minus 3iz times 2, that's minus 6iz, z squared times 2, 2z squared. So we haven't changed the value of the function at all, but now we've shown where the singularities are. So we've got one at 3i, which is going to be up here somewhere. And the other one is at when z equals zero. That's zero. So we're only interested with the singularities inside the closed contour. This one here, which is outside, we don't need to worry about. So all we need to do now is plug that into this formula here, and there's no integration involved at all. Just go with this formula. So it's two pi i, z minus alpha, well, we just take the z out, because when as that approaches zero, that will disappear. Then we're left with e to the z. So let's just let's just write f f of zero first, and do this on another line. Two pi i times. Let's just put that z minus zero on there as well. So multiply that by this function here without the uh, singularity. So e to the zero. All the z's are going to be zero because we want f of zero. 2 times z minus 3i. Well, that's the 0, z is 0, so it's minus 3i. So that basically equals 2 pi i times e to the 0 is 1. 2 times minus 3i is minus 6i. Okay, so we've got some cancelling out, which we can do here. That's that one can cancel. 2 can cancel with that to become minus 3. So basically we're left with pi over 3 but minus. Okay, that's our solution.